Well, uh, good evening. This is the inaugural video for the Imaginary Conflicts channel. Um, my name is Rich, and the first thing that we'll be working on today is a English church from war bases. Now, this is one of the laser cut MDF pieces, and uh, it actually does come apart. So there we go. We've got a separate tower section there. Um, I added a uh, crucifix here from a broken rosary that for some reason was in my collection. So I apologize to any Catholics in the audience if that comes up as any offense. Um, we've got the roof section here, which is the simplest part. There's no uh, decoration here. As you can see, there's brickwork on the tower, but there's nothing here. Um, this was actually, let me think, probably had the fewest pieces of all to come together because there's just three struts here and then the two roof tiles. Um, but this was actually the most difficult to put together. Um, I had to enlist the assistance of a couple of uh, elastic bands to uh, put this together. Yeah, so that's the roof. And then we've got the main church building itself. Um, and yes, yeah, so we've got the porch here and the stained glass windows. Um, the nice brickwork again. Um, bring that up to the camera. Hopefully you can see it. Uh, and then there is nothing on the inside. Um, but so all I'm going to do at the beginning is start with a black undercoat. So um, all of the shading gets done right at the beginning of the process. And there's a nice even coat for us to begin uh, base painting on. Right, so I'll, I'll see you then. Right, well, um, that is everything base coated black. Um, I had to do it by hand because I don't currently have access to my spray paints. Um, the reason why everything looks a little bit of a mess in the background is that I've actually just moved into this house and I decided that this was the spur that I needed, you know, new start to get this channel going. Um, so yes, as you can see, um, everything has been spray painted, uh, painted black. Um, and yes, so what we're going to do now is we are going to base coat the brickwork um, with a grey. <clears throat> I'm currently using um, the Army Painters War Paints and I'm using German Army Field Grey. Bring that up to the camera so you can see it. Um, and I'll be using that to base coat the brickwork. And yeah, I will let you know how that goes uh, momentarily. Okay. So yeah, I'll see you then. Um, so what I've just done is I've base coated the entire um, entirety of the stonework with a German field grey. Um, I had to do two coats on that because I had mixed it with water, so I had to use uh, two thin coats, as the adage goes. Um, and it's come out in a way that I'm quite glad with. Um, in some places, the um, the black undercoat between the brickwork did. Um, get covered up by the grey. So what I'm going to do now, just to re-accent the, the brickwork really, is to go over it and perhaps I'm showing how long I've been in the hobby. Um, I'm going to be washing the entirety of the stonework with um, an old Games Workshop paint, uh, Devlin Mud, um, which, you know, they don't do anymore. I believe that they call it Agarax Earthshade now, but um, I've been in the hobby since before um, Devlin Mud came along. I was back when they were still using things like uh, Goblin Green and things like that, and the uh, the washes were completely different to what uh, these are. So I'm going to be using these uh, or Devlin Mud to uh, just yeah reaccent the stonework and give a full wash to all of the brickwork in the model church. So yeah, um, I will catch you in a bit once I've done all that and I'll uh, see you then. Right, well, um, that was a very, very quick and easy step. So um, I've used the Devlin mud just to reaccent the brickwork on the church. Uh, what I'm going to do now, just to finally, you know, give it some colour that actually pops a little bit, um, I'm going to be mixing some, some old and new paints in this whole thing. So for the roof and the roof of the porch on the church here, uh, there, um, I'm going to be using um, Citadel's layer paint Word Bearers Red. Um, that's a nice dark red that I found sort of has uh, a nice, almost like a fresh terracotta kind of look that I can imagine that a church roof would sort of have. Um, and then the little bits of woodwork, so um, 
on the porch frame itself. Uh, see if you can see that on the porch frame itself there. Um, I am going to be using an old uh, Citadel paint, which is Calthan Brown. Um, I don't believe that you get that anymore. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to be using that for the wood and the word bearers red for the roofs. So I will let you know how that goes in a bit. I'll see you then. Right then. Um, so I've just finished painting the roofs with um, word bearers red. Um, as you can see, and using Calthan Brown on the woodwork there, which I also painted the door with. Um, you can see obviously the roof here, very simple, single flat colour. Uh, again, I used two coats to make sure that I had a nice even spread. Um, so, because this is really more of a quick paint for me, um, it's still been going on for a couple of hours, but this is quite quick for me. Um, so really what I'm going to do is I'm going to be painting the windows and the crucifix and then I will probably be calling this one done. I might add some later details um, at another time but uh, you probably won't see that. Um, so what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to be experimenting a little bit. So I'm using the old Citadel paint uh, Hawk Turquoise. Um, and I'm going to be using that to paint the windows and then I'm going to do a couple of tests on different windows to see which one comes out the best. Um, I'm going to be using two old Citadel washes. Uh, I'm going to be using a Sermon Blue and Thraka Green and I'm going to see which one looks nicer for kind of a kind of a quasi stained glass effect. Um, and then, yeah, whichever one I like the most, um, I will use for all of the windows. And the final effect that I'll be using, or the final paint, should I say, that I'll be using, will be on the Crucifix. And I'll be using a much newer paint. Um, I'll be using uh, Citadel's Retributor Armour. Um, and yes, hopefully that should bring it up in a nice gold colour um, that makes it really stand out to the rest of the building. And then, yeah, as a working... Well, I'd say as a, a, a base coated, simply done uh, church, um, I'd say that that's job done. So I will let you know how that one gets on um, when it's finished. And then I might change the camera angles around so you get a slightly better view of everything. But uh, I'll see you then. Well, uh, there we go, guys. This is the finished product of the uh, War Bases English Church. This is a very simple paint scheme, all done and sorted. Um, I ended up going for Thraka Green on the windows for the wash, for the stained glass. The Sermon Blue came out a little bit too dark for my taste. Um, also, zoom in on the crucifix, hopefully it focuses, there we go. Um, yes, I, I used a uh, Griffon sepia wash, which is another old Citadel paints uh, wash. Um, just over the gold, <clears throat> briefly, uh, it you know just added a little bit more shading to the uh, crucifix, so you could see more of the detail. But yes, yeah, so this is my first video. Um, it's a very, very quick project. It was mostly just because I had a, a couple of hours spare this evening and I thought that I'd put it to good use because I've wanted to do a War Games YouTube channel for many, many years and I've always given myself a reason for why not to. And uh, yeah, tonight I just decided that I was going to bite the bullet and actually do it. So uh, yes, Thank you very much for watching. Um, big shout out, by the way, to uh, in particular the Solo Wargaming Show and Joshua Swan, um, and also all of the other wargamers who did their I Am a Wargamer um, series. You know, that the how do you describe it? It's almost like a mailing list, isn't it? The, it got sent round to everyone, and everybody's done a video on it about why they're a wargamer, um, what inspired them to to start wargaming and what they recommend. Um, yeah, so I mean, I just, I watched those videos and I thought, you know what, I've moved into a new house, now's the time. And so uh, thank you so much for all of the uh, views that I get on this. If I get any at all, I don't know. Um, every view will be a blessing. So thank you so much for watching guys. Hopefully I'll see you again. I don't have a fixed uh, release schedule or anything at the moment. I'm just kind of seeing how everything pans out. 
But uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys again in a different video. So God bless and have a wonderful weekend. All right, cheers for now. Bye.